Hey, um, this video might be a little bit long, but it's very, very important. Um, I had a psych eval, and this video is going to be about what came back on the psych evaluation. Uh, let me start off with talking about why I had a psych evaluation. Basically, uh, the community mental health here uh, told me that I would no longer receive food assistance because I wasn't working and I also wasn't looking for a job because I can't mentally handle having a job. Which sounds entitled, but just chill and listen here, alright? Um, yeah, so I went to this job rehabilitation service where they try to find young people who are struggling jobs, basically. And first thing that they did was give me a psych eval to make sure that I'm stable and can hold a job, you know, because I can't, you know, <laughs> and <sighs> I'm sorry, it's really hard to talk. Um, my brain's like a mess, but I typed this all out. So let me open my, what I typed because that'll be way easier for me. Um, all right. My mental health has been on a fast decline over the past few years, but mostly the past two years. Um, I have trouble, or really I just can't comprehend text. My short term memory is shot, uh, and my communication skills are trash. Sorry, my heart's going fast. I'm kind of anxious about this. Um... I used to be at a college reading level. <laughs> uh, I was in like sixth grade when I scored a college level. And uh, according to the psych eval, my reading level was at ninth grade. Um, if you don't know, I dropped out of high school in ninth grade um, because of my mental health. Uh, my math fell at a fifth grade level. And I apparently fell below average or severely low on most of all the things that they tested me on. I got average on social skills and everything else. My Even my IQ is low, below average. So, yeah, that's something. Um, sorry, just a second. I was making sure I was still filming. Um... I wrote, there's a load of shit wrong with my brain right now, and they don't know if it's my mental health going untreated for so long that's causing my quick decline, or if I have something medically wrong that's causing it. I have an MRI this Monday that I have rescheduled three times, because I'm really nervous, and I don't want them to sedate me, but I think that they're going to have to. So, yeah, I'm nervous for that, but I know that I need it done, and I have it on Monday. Uh, I was born on a th with a thing on the side of my head called nevus sebaceous, and it's usually just a birthmark, but, um, in some cases it can be cancerous or cause swelling on one side of your brain or even a tumor. So, the psychiatrist was worried, you know, if it's not my mental health that's causing my rapid decline, then it must be that. Basically, so I have the MRI coming. Um, she said that I am not fit for work legally. Um, I knew that I wasn't fit for work, but now somebody finally acknowledges it. Um, I'm not fit for schooling. I've been trying to get my GED for the past year and a half. But they told me to take a break because I can't comprehend the information that I'm learning. I'm not learning. I'm just skimming things over and not taking anything in, basically. Um, I'm not even supposed to live by myself, according to the psych. So luckily I live with my boyfriend, but I can't do things for myself, hardly. I can't do dishes, I can't clean house, I can't take out the trash, I can't... I can't cut a freaking squash by myself. Like, I... It's really deep. It's not... I almost said it's really decent. It's not... I don't know why... 
My brain's fried, I swear to God. Uh, I've also had a lot of medication changes. I don't know if I ever actually put out my video about my medication changes, but I was taken off of Lexapro. I got put on Lexapro in the mental hospital. I don't know if I ever put up a video about that. I will, though. Um, eventually, because right now I can't. Sorry, but... Uh, I was on Lexapro. They took me off Lexapro because I got diagnosed with bipolar 2. Or, no, sorry, bipolar 1. And... Why would I say my... God. I'm so stressed. But, um, yeah, they took me off of Lexapro. They put me on Rexalti, which is like Abilify, but it's new. Um, my dose of that is getting raised. And <sighs> my anxiety has been pretty bad since I've been off the Lexapro. Having more panic attacks and whatnot. So I'm going to have to ask for some kind of anti-anxiety pill. I have an appointment with my uh, prescriber. Not next week, but the week after, I think. Um, yeah. Um, next I wrote, If I seem weird, quirky, or rude, not my fault. For those of you that might know me. Uh, know that I've gotten myself in some situations where I come off as uh, stupid um, or... Like, I know it all, kind of. I don't know. I come off wrong, if that makes any sense. I don't come off right. <laughs> and this is, like, this is what's been going on, you know? Um, I wrote, if I make jokes 24-7 and I don't seem like I'm listening to you, I am. My brain's just a mess. That's very true. If I avoid social situations, I don't know why I do. If I don't answer the phone, it's because of, like, five different reasons my, my brain could come up with. I mean, I'm very avoidant. I'm very, very avoidant. And I don't know if that has to do with my OCD or what, but oh my god, am I avoidant. Um, I don't mean to get mad or react wrong to things. Uh, somebody can say something that pisses me off. My whole, my blood boils. Somebody says, why didn't you text me back? Whew. Any kind of confrontation, any kind of conflict it's like a whole drop, you know? And I got diagnosed with PTSD during this psyche bell. And I think that might have something to do with it. But let me keep reading. Um, I don't know why it happens. Yeah, I just said that. Um, please understand that this is not my fault. I'm seeing so many professionals right now that I can't even count them on my one hand. Um, let's see. My family care doctor... I'm seeing her supervisor because she doesn't know what to do half the time, which is not an insult. She's a nice doctor. Uh, my prescriber, the psych, my counselor, um, shit, uh, what's the guy? Neurologist. Um, I'm supposed to be seeing a cardiologist and then I have, uh, I have two neurologists actually. <sighs> I prefer one, though. He's a very nice guy. Um, I'm kind of actually pissed off at the other one, but that's a different story. Um, yeah, I love my attention span. It's great. It's out the window. That's, that's cool. Um, I said, I, I'm sorry I don't respond to everyone. I don't know why I isolate. Sometimes I don't have the capacity to hold a conversation. I can't clean my house unless I'm really, really manic or on amphetamines. And even then, when I'm really, really manic, I can't clean my house. Like, I don't know what a clean house is supposed to look like. And I used to tell my mother growing up, sorry, I want to play with this. <laughs> I used to tell my mom growing up, like, I don't know how to clean my room. And she was like, you're so fucking retarded. Like, you know how to clean your room. And here we are. I actually don't know how to clean my room <laughs> like not fit to leave but live by myself level don't know how to take care of myself and everything I took a shower for the first time like yesterday or not yesterday like a, a few days ago probably the first time in a month um 
Yeah. Um, uh, I said, sometimes I forget what I'm doing for 10 minutes and uh, I often forget to message people back. I definitely don't have the capacity to argue, be confronted, or called out. Um, because that's a surefire way to send me into an episode, basically. Um, I had one time where I told this girl, uh, she was a woman of color, I said, I admire your strength. And she took that the wrong way. I don't know. See, the thing is, I, I can understand that... Things are hard for people of color and I don't, you know, I, I would never say otherwise, but all I did was say, you know, I admire your strength. And she said, I mean, she went off. She said, well, you don't support me. You don't do this for me. And it's because I'm black. And, you know, that was just so outlandish in my brain because I'm not that person, <laughs> you know? That I just had, I had a huge shutdown. It sounded like my mom was yelling at me. Um, and she was like, you're just using your PTSD and your your cognitive problems as an excuse. Like, you're, you're just, you're doing this because you're racist. And, oh my god. <laughs> Things like that, just like, they really, they really, really ram my brain in. <laughs> and it sucks. Um... What was I talking about? Um, I'm extremely sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I don't want to be confronted or called out. I don't even want you to leave me a voice message because I didn't answer the phone. Like, this is your endocrinologist calling. Like, why aren't you answering the phone? Um, you need to come get your prescription. But here I am, self-sabotage, not going to answer the phone, very scared what's going to happen if I answer the phone. I don't know. Um, I don't make any sense half the time, and I, I'm pretty much uh, a walking, irresponsible meme of a person, and, uh, my brain feels like it's rotting, and it's fried, and, uh, I'm really, it's like I'm constantly dissociated all the way down to a child, and I want to be an adult so bad. I feel so stupid and I hope that I'm okay and I hope that I don't lose my memory completely and I hope I'll survive because I'm scared right now and I don't know who I am. <laughs> so uh, thanks to everybody who said that I was uh, fucking around and thanks to all the doctors who didn't take me seriously until I got to this point. Thank you to Everybody who called me retarded and said that I was making up my illnesses. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it that nobody took me seriously all the way up until I'm regressing back to a child. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's nice. Um, I have a list here of the diagnoses that the psych wrote down. Uh, unspecified neurocognitive disorder. That's what I'm getting checked. Bipolar 1. Uh, generalized anxiety, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, bulimia, gender dysphoria, stereotypic movement disorder, uh, and OCD. So, and she wrote that she wants me to rule out having a seizure disorder and rule out having Tourette's disorder because I have tics now. <sighs> yeah. That's what's going on. I hope you got something from this video. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you for watching, I guess. It's a long one. See ya.